Great day to be a Rebel. Wow, what a game. What a day for us. Um, we had our backs against the wall, and um, this team stepped up. I don't think I've ever been more proud of a team. These three girls to my left, those girls in the locker room down the hallway, um, we just had a never-say-die attitude. We, we felt disappointed after our loss yesterday, and um, we came back with a vengeance, and um, you know we knew that we wanted to get to a Super Regional. Uh, and I'm, I'm happy for the senior class that are going to get that opportunity to go out to Tucson and play. Mike, where did that final game rank in just the wars that you've been through? As a wow. Um, it's, it's probably up there in the top five. I mean, I've won a national championship, and that's pretty special. Um, winning the SEC tournament uh, a few years ago, that was another special moment. This ranks right up there. Um, I mean, we had so, we had the highs of being up three nothing to the low of the of the home run, um, and then you know I I had to finally do some coaching and kind of figure out okay how am I going to scratch away one or do we want to try to get two here? Uh, we're I, in my mind I was like if we can tie this thing up. Um, I'll take our chances in extra innings. And um, these girls just had that never say die attitude and things worked out. And um, the unorthodox people came up to the plate um, in the right time for us. And they stepped up and executed the things that we needed them to do. And, man, I can't be more proud. This is one of those, pro you know, probably top five in, in, my, uh, in my coaching career. Kelly, can you talk about your advantage there, the chopper, the walk-off? What did you see? Um, well, I knew my job. I needed to score these runs at least because I know Colin um, was on third, so I know she's fast. So I was thinking hit the drop ball and pound it in the ground. So, and it worked. <laughs> well, Colin, you guys had your backs up against the wall a handful of times this weekend from losing the first game yesterday to falling down 4-3, three, three, mm -hmm. whatever, in this game. What about this team, this resiliency kind of allowed you guys to bounce back so many times? Um, we knew today that we were going to win. Um, honestly, we all came to the field, and I think yesterday when we lost the first time, I got a little emotional, um, maybe got a little teary-eyed um, after that first loss before the second, that second game of the day. And today, there was no tears. There was nothing because I was so confident that our team had it. And um, honestly, I think the entire team knew that we were going to do this. We were battle-tested the entire season. Um, almost every SEC, turn, SEC um, regular season game turned into – a rain out and a double header and we kind of really just lived off of that and we won so many series off of the double headers and we knew that we were prepared for it, it was destiny and that that was practice for now. Colin, can you kind of take us through that, I guess, routine for you catch you made? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just watched the slum of it. Apparently I robbed it from Kaylee. I didn't know that, but um, <laughs> yeah, I couldn't tell. It's okay, you can I'm have just, it. Um, you know, I don't know. Uh, we practice it every day. I I really enjoy those. They're a lot of fun. Um, <clears throat> it's just kind of never really thought it was gonna go over and be out. I thought I had it the whole time. Um, Kaylee, I guess, could have had it before me, but I jump a little higher, so <laughs> it's okay. It's in box hops. Mike, if you would just talk about Brittany's performance throughout the entire tournament. Yeah, I mean, she got three wins, right? I think she had three wins. Um, you know, <clears throat> I'm. I mean, you know, every game that she's thrown, um, she's really just dominated those hitters. And um, I just had a little conversation with her and um, just told her, I says, uh, I'm proud of her. Um, it wasn't anything personal taking you out in that situation. Is I just felt like the matchup was going to be a little bit better, and um, you know. Sometimes you make those decisions and you got to live by them. And that was one that um, it was rough for me for two innings going, you know, did I make the right decision? But um, that's why we play this game. That's why we have a team. Um, and they, the players picked me up today. You know, they're picking each other up. They picked me up today. Um, and not saying that I made a bad decision, but maybe I should have just stuck with, with Brittany there. Um, she hadn't given up any runs and that was her game. But uh, Brittany's a She's a workhorse. She's a warrior when she wants the ball. I mean, you see the emotions that she has out there. Um, she's a special individual, and um, she's going to be one that is going to be sorely missed in our program. How excited were you about Molly the second time I just think, I mean, you're talking about the heat. Molly threw seven innings, um, went deep into some counts. They worked some counts pretty good in that first game. Um, 
you know, Molly's Molly's shin was probably affecting her a little bit, um, especially having to sit for, you know, really almost an hour and a half to two hours. So, um, but Molly, it's not like Molly hasn't come in that situation before, um, you know. And I mean, I, I, I we were going to take her out in that in that inning when they scored that one run on that wild pitch, but I, I really felt like Molly was going to get us what we needed. They really had a hard time with change-ups. Um, the illegal pitch kept coming back to me. Do I want to bring Finney in there? Can we afford an illegal pitch in that situation? But, um, you know, you roll with it. These players, th these kids have gotten us to where we're at, and, um, you know, the rest is history. And I'm just, man, I can't be more proud of this team right now and what, what we just, what we did. I mean, there were people all over the country that were doubting us. You know, um, they, they were doubting us being down and, you know, why are we an 11 seed and, oh, UL's coming in here. And um, people doubted us. And, um, you know, we stepped up to the challenge and met it head on. And, you know, we punched the door right through. Mike, Michaela started off that rally for you there, but, I mean, she was dynamite in the field the entire tournament. Well, how about the entire day she had? I mean, she hit that home run in the first game. She finds a way. I mean, and I think I've said this in press conferences before, or in in media with the media before. Is Michaela may not have the highest batting average, but that kid finds a way to get on base, um, and she comes up in the biggest moments. Whether it's a hit batter, whether it's a walk, whether it's a home run, whether it's a double, um, that kid finds a way. And she's only a freshman, um, and she's only going to get better. And you know, between Tate Whitley and her, those two freshmen, um, they've got to experience something that a lot of young players don't get to experience. And, um, you know, their future's bright here at Ole Miss. Kylan, how does this one compare to the first, or the first regional season you get? Um, I think this one trumps it just because it's finally I'm a senior and honestly kind of thought I was having my last at-bat. So um, it honestly was so amazing. I think just that pressure, you live for it. And now that I'm a senior and I know that there's no more, it kind of just means a little bit more. That was so special. Um, I guess I broke some kind of record with it. I didn't know about that. So, I mean, it just makes it a little bit more special just because I left a mark here with that, and I think it's going to go down in history. And just it's an amazing feeling. Everything okay with Molly? I saw her in a walking boot. In the yeah, it's That's just preventative. Yeah, Molly's been in that boot for the last, I don't know, month of the season. She's had some shin issues. She had them last year at the junior college. Just – through the course of an entire year, um, she just has some inflammation in her shins, and it's really just she's in a boot during the week, just preventative, just so it doesn't inflame a whole bunch. She's not having to walk. We have orthotics in there, and it's nothing to be alarmed about. Um, just it flares up sometimes, and we're monitoring what it is, and she'll be fine. I mean, she's she threw a heck of a ball game the first game, so it couldn't affect her too much. Mike, second Super Regional in three years here. Mm -hmm. Man, um, if somebody would have told me that that we'd be we'd have an opportunity to to uh, have to be two wins away from getting to the College World Series in just five years in this program from where this program was when I started, um, I probably wouldn't have believed. I probably would have bet paycheck on it, but um, not that I'm a betting person. Um, but it, it, it's not about me. It's not. I mean, it's about us and our staff. Our staff is tirelessly, I mean, from video to scatter reports. I mean, these kids see the extensive scatter reports that they get in the video that we do. And then these kids go out and they work and they bust their behinds at practice. And I, I, I'm on them, but, I, but I'm, I'm on them because I want them to be able to experience what they experienced today. I was able to do that as a player. I was able to do it at the professional level playing. Um, I've, I've had the opportunity to win a national championship, so I know what it takes to get there, and I want them to experience those things. I want them to experience the Gatorade baths that we had today. I want them to experience about jumping on those charter flights and being able to play in a Super Regional and being two wins away from the College World Series. And um, Those are things that you can't get back, and they'll last a lifetime. And these, these three players and the rest of those players in that locker room and the staff are going to remember those things. I think it's gone final with Arizona. Yeah, yeah, uh, Tara Moat, yep. So we get to go back to Tucson and, um, you know, we'll face Taryn in the Wildcats. Brand new stadium, so we're looking forward to seeing that new stadium. Um, beautiful out there. I know the ball travels a little bit out there, a little bit more. That airs, um, and it's going to be hot, but nothing that we're not used to. And we have the heat here. We were out at Arizona State last year, so um, 
I would hope that there would be no rain in the forecast. Um, but if there is, we play a doubleheader. And these girls are like the doubleheader queens. So, um, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to it. I, I'm just I'm happy for these for these young players. I mean, getting getting to experience a super regional, it's that's special. You know, when the 11 seed came out, I was like, you know, they finally gave us something like we earned. We earned absolutely every bit of that. You know, we worked so hard. We've proven multiple games throughout the season that we can compete with anybody. And the whole time I was like, wow, you know, we finally get what we earned. And then everybody came out and said all these negative things about it. And I was kind of like, whoa, like that's not how I expected anybody to react. And, you know, coming out and losing early um, in the series, I think a lot of people were kind of like, haha, I told you so. And I think we finally got the last laugh. It's a great answer. I like it. Thank you. <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself. I mean, I really couldn't. I, I, I think that's perfect 100%. Um, there were a lot of doubters. When that 11 came out, I mean, you know, you follow Twitter and social media and you see what people are saying and, um, you know, fine. We, we know. We know us. You know, we know the work that we put in. We knew the body of work that we had. Um, you know, we didn't think the way we finished the year that we were going to get an 11 seed, but the committee, I felt, did a really good job in taking our body of work, and, um, you know, I, I think we lived up to the challenge of being an 11 seed, and now we get to go out and, um, you know, have an opportunity to, to beat one of those top eight seeds and get to the College World Series.